So I came across this law whilst I was in my monk mode period where I was talking to no one, reframing my beliefs and everything. Fast forward a year, and I'm still lost as fuck. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I blabbered on about it in my comeback video. You can watch it if you want. But pretty much, there is this lord that I discovered. And it just gives me this level of fuck you confidence because I know that no matter what happens to me, no matter what external things happen to me, I know that I'm going to end up where I want to be. And the reason why I have such a strong faith in it is because of how far I've come with it as well. I don't need to tell you what pain and suffering I've put myself through when no one was watching. Like my physical transformation, it speaks for itself. You know that I've been working out. But if you get that fat guy, let's just say there's a fat guy who's been going on a diet and he says he's been working out heaps, but he hasn't lost any weight in four months. You know that he still has a vice of some sort. You know he is either lying about the routines or he's not sticking to his diet. Because otherwise, he has done all the output necessary. Now, of course, there might be this one dude that hasn't, he hasn't lost a pound and he's doing everything right because he has some condition. But for the most part, if you get a fat guy and you get him in the gym and you tell him, stick to this diet, stick to this routine, and four months later, he still looks the exact same, it's him. He's not doing something right. So what have I been ranting about? This is the law of accumulation. Every single action that you do, it has an effect. Whether it's tomorrow or years from now, it all builds up. I made myself a little graph, but literally just plus negative. I have amazing handwriting. I know, leave me the fuck alone. So you are watching this video. You are watching a video about mindset. So that is honestly a plus. Congrats. <laughs> but it's literally a plus and negative. Every single action is either growing you or it's killing you. So every single action counts. Every single action ends up here. Including the things that you don't want to count. That counts too. All the tender hookups, the TikTok scrolling, the porn in the middle of the night. Yeah, sure, no one knows about it, right? But it all adds up. It slowly shapes your identity into who you become. This is why I am so extreme with my time and who I hang around. Because all of this has an effect on you. Sure, we can get along, but if you aren't good for me, and I'm probably not good for you, I probably don't make you feel good about yourself, then what's the point of us hanging out together? I got this off Brian Tracy and this completely changed my life. I became so much more positive when I first discovered it and I know that if I keep doing the right things, it's going to build up. It has been building up. And physical progress in terms of fitness is one of the easiest ways. Like one gym workout, that doesn't do shit, right? But hundreds of gym workouts, you can go from fat to shredded. A thousand gym workouts? You're talking, you look like another person after 1,000 gym workouts. So I'm, I'm bringing this fucking mini chart back. But the more extreme you are on the positive side, the more growth that you'll see. When the ratio is neutral, when it's one to one, like this, you are just the average person. You might go to sleep early on the weekend, but then you wake up late and scroll on TikTok. Kind of just ruins the point of going to sleep early. And this is also with UFC fighters, especially in professional sports, where they are so close in skill level, they are at such extremes that it can just be a fucking... a Mars bar that one of the fighters had five weeks ago that causes him to make a mistake and lose the fight. That can be the difference. Just look at Khabib. He absolutely smoked Conor McGregor. Because all he has on his mini little fucking chart thing is just all positive towards this identity of being a godly person and a good wrestler. That's all it is. He doesn't have women in his life. He doesn't have alcohol. He doesn't 
stay up late. He doesn't have any of these things to go on the negative side. So therefore, he ends up being the most extreme motherfucker out there. He's one of the best UFC fighters of all time. That's what it takes to win. If what you are doing is not taking you towards your goals, it's probably dragging you away from them. Now, people can hear this and say, oh yeah, that's pretty basic advice. But really think about it. How many people actually go through with that? They'll say, oh yeah, I'm really focused on my business. Oh, hold on. My team's playing. I've got to place a bet as well. I hope they win. <laughs> Video games, Netflix, all of this shit. I truly believe there is no such thing as neutral actions. Actions that just don't change you at all. Because you're either becoming more extreme, more better. You're changing. Or you are dying. You are becoming worse. And I truly believe if someone dedicates themselves, like I'm trying to do currently, to just stacking the positive side of their ledger, they win. I don't even go on my phone during breaks of my work. I literally read. So I'm going through at least a book a week now. When it's a short book, two books a week easily. Yeah, this is just a quick mindset video. I don't know how long this has been. Hmm. Yeah. Don't do us easy. Do us right. Peace.